Have you ever been on Facebook where you made a post that looked like this? Or maybe you saw your friend do this? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to not be that guy. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer everything from your old Android phone to your new Android phone. In the past, I've done posts like these where I use the Smart Switch application. Now that is required to have a new Samsung phone to be able to do that. And sometimes you may run into some problems. So here are some other options that you can use. So in today's video, we're gonna cover transferring your contacts, your messages, your gallery, your music, as well as some game data. So let's get right into this. First, let's talk about contacts. Now, if you have a Samsung phone, this is gonna be very similar, but if you don't, I'm gonna give you all other options that you can use. So the first thing, I'm gonna go right into my contact application on my old phone. Now, in the settings up here, so I go into the menu, and then I go into settings. So some phones may be a little different, but right here you have an option that is import, export contacts, as well as merge duplicate contacts. So I'm gonna click import, export contacts. So if I click the export contact right here, is what this will do is it's going to send all of my contacts to a file. So it has now exported the .vcf file. So this contacts file can be sent to other phones and then imported easily. So then another thing that you can do right now is go back to the import export contacts and click import. When you select import, it will give you the different options of where you can import those contacts to. So one, you could import to phone, Google, or other Microsoft Exchange account. So if I wanted to back up my entire contact list, I could select my Google account right here, and then it would back up everything right to my Google account. And that's what I recommend. I actually have all of my contacts already stored on Google, so I don't need to do that right now. But if you don't want to use the cloud services, here's what you need to do. So now that we have that exported, I'm gonna go home and then go to the My Files application. If your phone doesn't have My Files, you may need to download like Astro File Manager or another file manager application. So when you go in here, you just need to go into the internal storage of the phone and go through this list and you'll see all these different files here. And then down at the bottom, you will see this option called Contacts. So that is the file right there. So if I hold down on this, I can then share that file and you could share it to any other platform where maybe Google Drive or Dropbox where you can add that file and then download it on the other phone and then you can import those all to your new phone. So let's say I Wi-Fi direct it over here to my Galaxy Note 8. All right, so now that file has transferred over to my phone. You could rename it just so you know it's the right one. And then you can save this anywhere. So you always have your contacts. If you ever lose them, you can go back to this list and it was your most recent backup. So then if I click on the .vcf file, it will then give me the option of where I want to import. I choose contacts and I can say just once here. And then it's gonna give me the same option of where I want to import those contacts. So I could import all of them to phone, Google, wherever I want, again, backing up to Google, that will back up forever. Then whenever you create a new contact, just make sure you are saving it to the same location that you have them currently saved. So that is how you can save your contacts through the stock contact app. Now, if you don't have those options on your phone, make sure you head into the Google contacts application, allow for the permissions. So, and then here in the settings, you have a bunch of things that you can do. So if I go to the settings of the phone, and then I go to import, you have the same options here. So I could export all of my contacts and here it actually gives me the option where I can choose just the ones from the device, just the ones from my accounts or Google account. Then if I import, I can choose what file to import and then it will let me choose the option there as well. So one of the other cool things that you can do with this app is because you have different accounts on your phone. So here I have my Brett, Google account, and then here I have a Samsung account, you can actually select multiple contacts and then go in and move them to a different contact. So I could say move these to my other Gmail account really easily, so that's a great way to manage contacts. So one other thing I like about the Google Contacts application is here at the bottom under settings, you actually have a way to restore if you messed up. So maybe you made some changes and it made some mistakes. So here you can undo the changes as well as you can also manage all of this right on your Google account at google.com forward slash contacts. 
So there you go, that's how you do contacts. Next, we're gonna talk about text messages. So right now, currently on Android, there's no way to automatically back up those text messages. I've shown you how to do that with the Samsung phone, but here is my recommended solution to do this. Now, there are many apps that you could use, but here is what I recommend. Now, here's an app called SMS Backup and Restore. So you just need to download this app, allow for the different permissions, now this app will do a few different things. It will back up your text messages and call log automatically, or you can manually back it up and then transfer just like we did the contact. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to say backup now, and then you choose the file type you wanna back up, and then here it asks where you want to back up. So I'm gonna click advanced options, and you can choose to make sure that it backs up media, pictures, videos, group messaging, so I want all of that backed up. And then it says more backup locations. So you could sync to Google Drive, Dropbox, or just your phone. So I'm actually gonna select your phone and then it says where do you want it put. And I'm just gonna say go to the default app folder and then click OK. You could also browse and let's say I want it to go right in to the download folder or whatever, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna click default, click OK, and then select backup. So then here it wants you to back up online, but I'm just gonna do the on phone storage. So there it has backed up all the calls and then here it is gonna go through and back up the 11,000 text messages. Now that that is complete, I'm gonna go back into the My Files application and then I'm gonna go look for the SMS backup folder. So here under the SMS backup and restore, it has the two files, the calls and the SMS. So once I'm in this folder, I'm then gonna select all the files Click share, and then I'm gonna do Wi-Fi direct and transfer those over to my Galaxy Note 8. So those files are now complete. And then over here on this phone, I'm gonna make sure I download that app again, SMS backup and restore. And then I'm gonna go into the settings and click restore. And then I'm gonna say local backup location. And this was just in a local folder. So here I'm gonna select local folder and then that's gonna be right in your downloads folder. And then here I can just say use this folder. And then it's it found the messages, it found the phone calls, and I'm gonna click restore. Here it's saying that you may lose some of the features if you use the Samsung texting application. So it recommends using SMS backup and restore instead of messages, but it will still download that to whatever message application you want to use. After some time, the messages have finally been restored as well as the calls. So now we need to go into the default message application. So this app is then gonna ask if you want to change the messaging app as well as backup. But here I'm gonna say, I do not wanna set up a backup now. You could do that if you want, but now I'm just gonna go back to the home page and go into my messages application and then make sure that this is set as default. So I just need to click okay and then it will set that as my default messaging application. So now it's gonna restore, and there you can see that it has all of my text messages and a history of a very long time. If you have 11,000 messages, it is gonna take some time to transfer all of that over. So in one of the threads, you can see that it actually transferred the gifts that I had sent to one another. I have all my messages, different links, all in there. So that is how the messages works when you are transferring from one phone to the other. That's a really great option if that is something that you want to do. Next, let's talk about your pictures. So here in the gallery application, this is where all of your photos are stored. They're probably stored in different albums depending on where they were taken, like your camera or other applications that made a folder. So one of the things I do with photos to easily back them up or transfer them is to use Google Photos, Dropbox, or you can even use the Amazon Prime Photos app that if you have Amazon Prime, it backs up an unlimited amount of storage. So that's an easy way to do it. You just need to open the applications, verify your email, and then here it will ask if you want to back up an unlimited amount of storage. That's really easy to do. Dropbox, there are some payment solutions that you can use. So if you wanna learn more about Google Photos, you can click the link above to learn how to do that. But if you wanna do a manual transfer from one phone to the other, here are some options that you have. One, if I go into the gallery and then go into some of the pictures that I want to move. So when I select the photos, I can then click share up here and it gives me a bunch of options where I can either Wi-Fi direct them. Here it says transfer files to device. You can easily do that. Or you can upload them to other places but one of the easiest options is to just plug this into your computer and then you can download those files and then plug in your new phone and send those files over. Let's show you how to do that. Here, I just need to plug in my phone into my computer 
and I can plug both of these in at the same time. And then over here on my computer, you will see the devices show up. So here I have the Note 5 and I have the Note 8. So if I go into the Note 5 and then I go into the phone, so if I look under the DCIM folder, that is where all the folders are stored. So I open DCIM and then here I have every photo and all the different folders that I've taken. So I can easily take this and I could copy it right onto my desktop or wherever I want on my computer. Or the other option is I can actually just copy this right over to my phone. So then once I have put them wherever I want, I can go back and then I can actually open my Note 8. And then here I have my SD card that's in the Note 8 or I have my phone. So I can open up my phone and then I can place them in the DCIM folder. That is where all my photos are gonna be sorted. So it makes it really easy if you put them in there. And that's how you do that on the PC, easily manually moving your files over. Now this will work on a Mac as well. You just need to make sure that you have the Android file transfer downloaded. So let's say I manually want to move my pictures to my SD card. So it's how you do that is go back into the My Files app. So on the Note 8, I have an SD card over here on the Note 5, we don't have that option. So then I'm gonna go into the internal storage and I'm gonna to go to that same DCIM folder. So here we have all of the albums with the picture. So if I wanna move some files to the SD card, like right here I have some Gear 360 videos that are taking up quite a bit of space. All I need to do is hold down on those and select that folder. Then I can go up here into the menu and then I can copy or move. I do kind of recommend copy so that you know it's there and then come back and delete that folder. But let's say I want to just move those files and then here it's gonna give me the option to open up the SD card. I select SD card and then I choose where I want. Let's say I wanna put it on the DCIM and then right here I click done and then it will transfer all of the files in that folder onto the SD card. Then I could put it in my new phone and put that back in. Just make sure your new phone does have an SD card. So that is how you would transfer your gallery to your new device. Now let's move on to music. So music, all you need to do is some of the same things we've been talking about the whole time. Go into your My Files, go into any music folder that you have on the phone. So if I go in and find the media folder, and then here I don't really have any audio, but here I can do the same thing. I can directly transfer it over. Or the other option I recommend is to use Google Play Music. It will allow you to upload 50,000 to 100,000 songs right onto your Google Play account. And then you can access those anytime from your other phone. And this will work from your computer or wherever you can access and play those files. So I actually have a video on how you can do that. Click the link in the top if you wanna know how to transfer all of that over to the Play Music. Now, if you guys are asking where I got this Samsung Music application, this will show me just what is downloaded on my phone. You can download that from the Galaxy App Store. Now, the last option that we have over here is gaming. So gaming really depends on the game itself. So you can't just instantly transfer everything over, but you actually have to go into each individual game. So here I'm gonna go into Clash Royale. So here in Clash Royale, I just need to click the settings. And then here it's gonna give me the options to link a new device. So right here I can click link device and you can say, is this the old device or the new device? So if it's the old device, you can say, I wanna link another Android device or I want to link something else. And you go through that, it gives you a code and then you'll be able to sign in and have your data transferred to the new phone. So in this case, I've already synced it to my Google Play account, so it is already on this phone. And so if I sign in with my Google Play account on a new device, it's already gonna transfer that information over. Now, every application is different. So make sure that you go into the settings of that app. You may see some options to transfer via Facebook or other things. So go into that app, double check that it backs up and transfer over, or you will lose your data if you get rid of your phone. So here in Clash of Clans, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click settings, and here I could sync it through Facebook or I could sync it through Google Play, and here it's disconnected, so I just click on there. It's then gonna open my Google Play account, and then it's gonna choose which account I want that link to, and now it says that it's connected. I can go to my new phone, sign in, and everything will be there. 
Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about how to transfer from your old Android phone to your new Android phone. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. And if you have that friend that always keeps posting about losing their contacts, make sure you share this with them. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.